All right, it is eight o'clock. I am Rebecca Kozak, and I am honored to be your host today of the Ask Doc Live Show. I have with me my co-hosts, Jonty McCollier and Ruth Ellen Sanchez, and the amazing Dr. Joel Wallach. Now, I do want everybody to know that the content of this program is for providing nutritional education information only. So this program is not meant to take the place of your primary care physician, but the FDA does require us to let you know that our products are not meant to treat, prevent, diagnose, or cure any diseases. But the testimonials that you will hear today um, are actual real life, real life testimonials people that have followed Dr. Wallach's protocols and have achieved their optimal health goals. So as empowered individuals, you do have options available and we are honored to have Dr. Joel Wallach, the, one of the grandfathers, founding fathers of epigenetics here to guide us um, as we reach our own goals of obtaining optimal health. So Dr. Gwalik, welcome to Ask Doc Live. Hope you are having a fantastic morning today. And I know you have some incredible information to share with us. So go for it. Okay, so the doors have been open for a couple of minutes. Are people still coming in? You wanna give them two more minutes or are we ready to go? Well, we do have quite a few people in already. So, um, it's up to you. And you pull the trigger. Two minutes after the hour. Let's go for it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, they got to be on time if they want to get the stuff, right? That's right. Okay. Well, the title of my uh, current talk is The Manchurian Prescription. And um, it'll be the, the main piece of my talk for the for the new year coming along. You know, you've all, you know, all know me from Dead Doctors Don't Lie and Epigenetics which has really been a tremendous thing over the last 30 years. Well, the newest thing here now is called the Manchurian prescription, the Manchurian prescription. And the Manchurian prescription goes back to, I think it was 1959, 1960, a great, great novel came out called the Manchurian candidate. It was about two um, US army um, personnel soldiers, one officer, one um, uh, uh, soldier, um, and they were captured by the North Koreans uh, during the uh, Korean War, and they were brainwashed and conditioned to respond to a stimulus. And so after the war was over, um, the North Koreans uh, secretly helped them. Now, remember, this is a novel. This is a book, okay, called The Manchurian Candidate. And they were conditioned, these two soldiers were conditioned when they, when they got the command okay, an electronic command, they would kill whoever they were sitting there. And so the North Koreans would set up meetings and luncheons and dinners with these two soldiers, with big uh, people in industry that were gonna bring factories to the United States and factories to the enemies of North Korea and so forth. And then when they were having their dinner, the agents of North Korea would be in a table next to them and they would push the button and these soldiers would kill their dinner partners. That was the Manchurian candidate. Okay, now. That's kind of um, nuts, Dr. Wallace. Okay, well, listen, and you will get the story in a moment, okay? All right. Keep Remember, going. It, was a, it was a novel in 1969 or 59, 1959. So here we go. Um, you have to appreciate that we knew about COVID in October of um, 2019. Okay, so it's almost a year and a half old that we've been dealing with this. And from the beginning, we were told to distance ourselves, wear a mask, wash our hands, and thereby reduce the infection rate and so forth. Well, what did we get? What did we get for that? Okay, what did we get for distancing? What did we get for wearing masks? And what did we get for washing our hands? And of course, we have great hand sanitizers. We've got our colloidal silver, which I take twice a day. 
put drops in my throat and all that kind of stuff. We take our 90 cents of nutrients. But what did America get for following that Manchurian prescription? Distance yourself six feet, wear a mask, wash your hands. That's all we were told, correct? Did they say anything else what to do? No, that was it. Well, we got almost 16 million infections and 300,000 dead, a third of a million dead for following that thing, okay? Following that, that recipe of distance yourself, wear a mask and wash your hands. Nobody said anything else. That's all they said for a year and a half. Distance, wash your hands and wear a mask. They said nothing about what to do to protect your immune system or to support your immune system. So let's look at some countries that just naturally do things different than us. Uh, let's compare Hong Kong with Arizona, exactly the same population, 7 million people. Arizona has 383,000, that was yesterday, it could be 400,000, but right now, or yesterday it was 383,000 infections and 7,000 deaths. Hong Kong, same population, had 114 deaths from COVID and um, 7,000 infections. That's a huge difference. That's a huge why. difference. Okay, let's look at a couple more here. Uh, let's look at um, Italy with 60 million people population and Thailand with 66 million population. So Thailand has 6 million more people than Italy. Um, Italy has 61,000, well, 62,000 dead and 1.7 million infections. Thailand has 60, 60 dead and 4,000 infections. Is there, is there a difference, Rebecca, between 60 dead and 61,000 dead? A thousand times more. I was gonna say at least a thousand times more. Yeah, and That's then is not. there a difference between 4,000 infections and 1.7 million, almost 2 million infections? and 4,000 infections, same population. Actually, Thailand has more, so you'd think they'd have more problems because they have you know, 6 million more people than Italy does. Okay, let's look at a couple more and then I'll tell you why. Um, let's compare, um, let's see here. Uh, let's compare um, Florida with Taiwan. Both of them have about 22 million population, okay? Florida has 20,000 dead and 1 million infections. Taiwan has seven dead and 700 infections. Is 700 less than a million infections? Is seven dead less than 20,000 dead? Wow. So what's the difference between Florida and Taiwan? And Taiwan? Well, Taiwan is almost 100% Asian and they live on rice and sweet potatoes. And Florida is 31% Latino who lives on nothing but wheat. Okay, Arizona is 31% Latino, which lives on wheat. Let's look at the one, well, two more here. Let's look at the Mexico versus Japan. They have the identical population, 126 million people. And Mexico has 111,000 dead, 111,000 dead, 1.2 million infections. Japan has 2,000 dead and 160,000 infections. So everywhere you look and you go that same train, you find that the Asians do much, 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 much better. Okay, so let's look just at a couple more here. Um, let's look at um, China. Okay, and we're gonna look at China and India. Okay, well, first of all, China and India have the same population, 1.4 billion people. They're the two largest countries on earth. So they're very of interest to us. China uh, has, uh, let's go the other way. Let's start with India, same population, 1.4 billion, B with a billion. And India has 141,000 dead, 141,000 dead. And remember, we have 300,000 dead, and we only have one fifth of their population. Okay. And they have 10 million infections. India has 10 million infections, 141,000 dead. China, same exact population, has 5,000 dead and 92,000 infected. Is 92,000 less than 10 million? 
is 5,000 less than 141,000. I mean, we're looking at fractions. Yeah. Like 0, 0.0 and a number of a percent. Yeah. That's and so why is it that China with the same population as India has such a low rate and India has such a high rate? So I went to the World Health Organization database. I spent three weeks going through it, John T. And Rebecca, guess what? I spent three weeks going through the World Health Organization data. And guess what? Here's what I found. India has 29 states and seven territories. The top northern nine states, the northern nine states have 95% of the deaths and 86% of the infections. The southern 20 states and seven territories have 5% of the deaths and 16% of the infections. So why the difference there? Why such a dramatic difference in India? Well, the northern states, the top nine northern states with 95% of the deaths and 86% of the infections live on wheat. You got it. The southern 20 states and seven territories live on rice and sweet potatoes because they live in swamps and rainforests and they can grow rice. The ones in the north can only grow wheat because they live in the mountains. Uh, you cannot deny these numbers. No. You can't deny the numbers and you are grabbing numbers from very reputable sources. Well, not if you can't, them up. <laughs> no, 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 we're not looking, you know, I'm, we're not going, my company's not getting these numbers. No. This is the World Health Organization. Exactly. Okay. This exactly. is, a, okay. Now, um, you know, I, I really looked it up here and this is this morning's data from the Center for Disease Control and the World Health Organization. Okay, the average lifespan of um, people in Hong Kong is 84, and the average lifespan of people in Phoenix, Arizona is 71. That's a 13 year difference in lifespan. Okay, and that's because in uh, Arizona, it's 31% Latinos who live on nothing but wheat, barley, and oats, including their beer and their bread and their flour tortillas and everything is just wheat, 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 gluten, gluten, gluten. Their intestines don't have any villi anymore. They couldn't absorb nutrients, even if they're supplementing. And that's why they're dying. And their average age at death is, is um, 71 years compared with Hong Kong. Their average age in eating rice and sweet potatoes is 84 years. 13 years, they gain 13 years by how they eat. You know, I've been saying this in a different way for 50 years, Rebecca. Now you, you may remember, you've heard me say this millions of times over the last 50 years. Nutritional minerals do not occur in a uniform blanket around the crust of the earth. They occur in veins like chocolate and chocolate bar ice cream. They occur in veins like gold and silver. So you can be eating the same recipe that your grandmother ate. And she lived in Western Pennsylvania and she ate this recipe for breakfast every morning. And she lived to be 114 and you ate that same breakfast every morning and you died at 68. Well, how could Frank die at 68? His grandma ate the same way. She died at 114, and he died at 68. Well, he was eating the breakfast of champions. He was eating Wheaties and not supplementing. And he had a little garden in the back, but he, he was growing carrots and tomatoes and things. Did he put any um, nutrition in there? No, it was just, you know, the garden. And she is putting wood ashes in her garden, well, the minerals in it. And she happened to have 22 minerals in the soil where she, he, where she grew her stuff. And he only had three minerals in the soil where he grew his garden. You know, they say standard American diet is a very sad diet. And this really, really shows that it is. Because yes. it, it's our diet, right? It's the diet it, that's killing us. It's what you eat, stupid. Okay, and so um, that's why we have the Manchurian prescription, because when people over the past 50 years would go to their doctor and say, you know, look, I'm seeing all this stuff on the news and all these hippies are talking about taking vitamins and minerals. Uh, shouldn't I be taking some vitamins and minerals? Nah, just eat well, you get everything you need. Well, every doctor who said that should be put in jail as a serial killer, spelled C-E-R as opposed to S-E-R. Yes, you got it. There's S-E-R killers and there's CER killers, but they both should get the same penalty. So when a doctor says, oh, just eat well, you're gonna get everything you need, they should be put in jail.
because they are a serial killer, both S-E-R and C-E-R. Okay. And so um, I think I've given you kind of a good grasp of everything because I, I got so many more comparisons, but let's not spend the time doing that. Um, let's do one more. I can't resist. I've got to do one more. Again, let's go um, Texas and Taiwan. Texas has 31% um, Latinos. In some uh, counties, it's like 70% Latinos, right, in Texas. And when you look at Taiwan, again, they're both about 25 million people, Taiwan and Texas. Um, Texas has 24,000 dead from COVID, 24,000 dead from COVID, and 1.2 million infections. Taiwan, with the same population, 25 million people, has seven dead and 700 infections. Now, seven dead less than 24,000 dead. Is 718 infections less than 1.3 million infections? Yeah, it's just a little bit less, Doc. Okay. Well, Taiwan lives on rice and sweet potatoes, and Texas lives on wheat. Are you getting the picture here? Everywhere you look when you make a comparison, same population, and you look at the differences in the diet, it's so dramatic. And so that's why I call it the Manchurian prescription because it's the same sort of thing as a Manchurian candidate, okay? Now, is Fauci just ignorant and needs to be jailed for being ignorant because he is responsible for the deaths of 16, excuse me, he's responsible for the deaths of 300,000 Americans and 16 million infections. He's the one who said mask, separate and wash your hands. He never said one thing about taking vitamins and minerals until just a month or so ago, oh, take some vitamin D3. Well, what about the other 89? Right. Now, vitamin D3 helps because it makes your bones stronger. Remember, the thing that kills you is you lose your bone marrow because you can't get the nutrition to your bone marrow. You get what's called dysplasia in your bone marrow. Instead of having cells in there to make white blood cells that go through the blood and kill and eat the viruses, instead of making um, red blood cells and platelets that you know, bleed to death and making stem cells to make antibodies that kill the virus, Suddenly now, there's no cells left in your bone marrow other than scar tissue and fat. You have what's called dysplasia, and you have to go every two months to get a transfusion so you can get platelets and red blood cells from somebody else because you can't make your own anymore because you're bleeding under your skin all the time. You nick yourself shaving, you go through a whole roll of toilet paper in a day because you won't stop bleeding because you don't make platelets. Right, right. So... Here's a really good question, Dr. Wallach. Mm -hmm. So once you stop eating the gluten and all the bad foods, because there's more than just mm -hmm. gluten, that's bad foods. So once you stop eating those, how long does it take the system to really recover? Okay, well, I've been doing this for, for 50 years and I can answer that question. Okay, let's look at somebody who's been on dialysis six days a week for 10 years because they haven't urinated in 10 years. I mean, you can you can track that one. They haven't urinated in 10 years. They're on dialysis six days a week. They had been on dialysis for 15 years before that because they didn't want a kidney transplant. So they're on dialysis three days a week for 15 years. And then when they stopped urinating and put them on dialysis for six days a week, we put them on our program, our healthy brain and heart pack, our big hammer because of the COVID thing. We put them on our MSM to help rebuild their bones and their bone marrow so they can make some antibodies and stuff. Um, we gave him our ultimate daily classic tablets, three of those twice a day per 100 pounds of body weight, so he could um, uh, support healthy blood pressure and support healthy blood flow through blocked arteries, which is what's happening in the kidneys. In two weeks' time, as God is my witness, as God is my witness, Rebecca, this guy starts urinating. So they reduce his... his um, uh, dialysis to three days a week again after 10 years is six days a week and in two more weeks he's totally off of dialysis after 25 years so that just proves when you give the body what it needs it can do some amazing things we have the capacity to defend ourselves we have the capacity to to repair ourselves but our tissues require every tissue every cell in your body every tissue in your body every organ in your body requires these 90 essential nutrients to take care of themselves to repair the damage, burns and cuts and things like that, and bruises and so trauma and so forth. But they also need the 90th century nutrients to make new tissue from 
cells. And then you need to make a new, I get people who've had so many liver operations, their livers, instead of being the size of a small watermelon, it's the size of a, a grapefruit, okay? And they're about ready to die, okay? And, uh, and so we give them our program and in two weeks time, their liver starts growing. And in two months time, their liver is about a third of the size it should be. And in four or five months time, they have a perfectly normal liver again. Now, we take somebody with AFib, atrial fibrillation, the doctor's approach to AFib is do an ablation, kill the part of the heart muscle that's making it do funny things, jump around and flip around, beat fast one day and beat slow the next day, tachycardia versus bradycardia. And doctors believe it's a heart issue. And, and, and I'll give you an example and then I'll tell you what's going on here. Uh, there's a US congressman for 35 years in Baltimore, Maryland by the name of Elijah Cummings. He got AFib and he goes to Johns Hopkins, the most famous medical school probably, you know, in, in the world from the United States. And so they say, look, you've got, you've got AFib, we got to give you an ablation and we'll kill that part of your heart that, you know, you won't be able to go out and play golf, but at least you'll live because right now you could die in your sleep or whatever. Uh, so we got to deal with this ablation. So they put him in the hospital, uh, they anesthetized him, cut his chest open, took a hot soldering iron, touched his heart and he died immediately. Now, if he had come to me and we put him on the diet, get off all the bad foods, no fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no gluten, no wheat, brown, and oats, put him on the Healthy Brain and Heart Pack, the Ultimate Daily Classic Tablets, get him on the MSM and uh, the de-stress capsules, and you got it. And in two weeks' time, the, the um, AFib had been gone because it's osteoporosis of the skull, one of my newest books, okay, is osteoporosis of the skull, squeezing the 10th cranial nerve, the vagus nerve, which causes that. Some of the early warning signals that you got are probably get the hiccups, okay? Because the recurrent nerve, which is kind of a branch of the, of the vagus nerve, um, controls your diaphragm. And people who, man, I got hiccups. My doctor wants to cut a nerve, which is that recurrent branch. Why would you do that when all you have to do is take the 90 cents of nutrients, get off all the bad foods, and your hiccups Ooh, go away, okay? I used to get hiccups all the time, Dr. Wallach. I can't you don't remember how long. I don't actually, I can't remember if in the last four years I've had hiccups at all. Okay. How long have you had hiccups? Five, 10 years or more? Or? Oh, I remember having hiccups all the time growing up. Okay. See and now. in my adult age. Okay. Now see, the thing is you don't have to be an adult to get osteoporosis of the skull. Babies are born with it. When the mother is deficient in nutrients during the pregnancy, the baby's born with osteoporosis of the skull. And if the baby has hiccups, Okay, they have osteoporosis of the skull squeezing the 10th cranial nerve, and that's a warning. You better get them on the 90th century nutrients and get them off of gluten, let them eat like an Asian, okay, and they'll be able to absorb the nutrients and repair their skull. And that's why we have the Wallach corpus. The Wallach corpus replaces the Hippocratic corpus, which has been around for 2,300 years. And the only good thing that the Hippocratic corpus said was first, do no harm, but doctors didn't pay attention to that piece, okay, and then of course, the Lancet, the famous medical journal from London, England, Lancet came out just a couple of weeks ago and said, all medical schools in the world have failed us terribly. Now that's an editorial by medical doctors in Lancet a couple of weeks ago. They said, all medical schools in the world have failed us terribly because um, they have um, uh, forgotten some basic stuff here. And what's happened here is they have trained all their medical students to be pill pushers to treat symptoms. That's right out of the mouth of Lancet. That's pretty sad, pretty sad. Now, I just want everybody to know that you can find Dr. Wallach's book. It's all in your head. And Jonty, I think we've got the Wallach, the Wallach corpus on there as well. Yes. Um, but if you go to askdoclive.com, you will find that we have a link to Dr. Wallach's most popular books. If you do not find the one that you're looking for there, you can always go to drjwallach.com and you will find all of Dr. Wallach's publications. So Dr. Wallach, you had mentioned, you know, five months going from having a liver that's almost nothing to regrown. I know yes. personally, we have somebody on this call um, that experienced that. And I, I, I just, it's incredible to be able to meet people face to face that are having such amazing results with simply doing your protocol. 
I mean, you're not keeping this to yourself and you encourage us to go out and tell the world. You've got your publications available to us with no, you know, high price right. tag, even well, except the, for that one. <laughs> oh yeah, well, yeah. Well, that's my thesis. It was, uh, that one was in the Smithsonian Institute's National Treasure. So 30,000 copies, W.B. Saunders, the biggest medical textbook printing house. 19, um, I guess it was 1983, they published it. It came out in 1977. They finally published it in 83. Um, 30,000 copies, they sold it in six months at $25,000 for each book. And I have to tell you, um, let's go back to just this last weekend. I did a, a Zoom like we're doing here, you and I right now and our, all of our viewers. I did another Zoom in eight, eight, um, uh, Asian countries at the same time. Okay, eight Asian countries at the same time. And we're talking about um, the Philippines, Korea, uh, Taiwan, Thailand, Singapore, Hong Kong, Malaysia, right? Getting it? Eight of those countries. Now, in those countries, between them, there's almost a billion people. Now, how many were listening? I'm going to find out because it was all recorded, of course, and we're gonna have a tool made from it. And the title of it's gonna be the Manchurian Prescription. All right. Because I collected all the data from them as they were getting all of my research. So it was a great exchange. Eight Asian countries at one time talking to a minimum of hundreds of thousands of people, but it may have been millions. I, I, I don't know yet, we'll get all the data, but this is crazy and so, this just watch it because that's going to be the title of my main presentation all next year the manchurian prescription and i believe it's going to be the information that's going to save the human world because right now if we keep going for um the fauci program which is distance mask yourself and wash your hands it ain't going to be good no i you know dr wallach i love technology when it especially when it's working fabulously <laughs> and the fact that we are able to get on here today i know we have people in our in our audience from the uk from nigeria from bahrain and i have um, their numbers too if you want them mexico well we will let's go ahead and get some questions answered okay. because i know we've got quite a few here oh okay because i'm breathless about the numbers between the uk and um, Nigeria, the UK and uh, Thailand and so forth. But anyway, we'll get to that later. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. So I just again wanna thank everybody for joining us on askdoclive.com. You can find our website, a store there with all the products that Dr. Wallach mentions in the recommendations that he will be doing today for the people in our audience and the people that have written in if you have any questions or would like to have an invitation to this program, you can go to askdoclive.com and request your invitation. You can also click on contact us and submit your questions there. Um, and if you're brand new to ever trying Dr. Wallach's formulations through longevity, we do have a call team that is standing by at 800 nine four nine seven two three four or again go to the website and you can reach us there as well at askdoclive.com so dr wallach first let's go to somebody who is patiently waiting with her hand up who has an amazing testimony of herself but i know she's got a great question for you as well so <coughs> donna you are on live with Dr. Wallach. Thank you, Becky, and uh, hello, Dr. Wallach. I'm, Hi, the, I'm the liver uh, recoverer in five months. <laughs> I wow. did that. And my greatest thrill was walking back in and firing my doctor. <laughs> so, what was your problem? What was your problem with your, so, you said your liver? Uh, stage four uh, fibrosis. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's easy. Liver, liver cirrhosis is easy. Okay. 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 Fibrosis. So, fibrosis. Yeah. Fibrosis. So how long did you, yeah. How long did you have a liver cirrhosis or AKA fibrosis? 
Um, I believe it started out with uh, with Hep C. I was mm -hmm. uh, from that era in school where they would line you up in the back of the classroom and give you your vaccines with the same needle and the same vaccine bottle. Yeah. How long ago was that? That was 1950. Okay. So it, I guess I carried that around for a long time, and it wasn't until I got stressed out and mm -hmm. you know that. And then uh, how long were you on our products before you recovered? Uh, five months. Wow. After how many, after how many years, 20 years, maybe 30 years, 40, <laughs> 40 years. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing that testimony. Yeah. Yeah. Liver it took, it took, I have to say that it took five months. It would have taken three, but I didn't give up gluten for two. Ah, naughty girl. Okay. But you figured it out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's, it's the two pieces. You got to give up the gluten so they can absorb. And then you take the 90 essential nutrients, the liver does 40 different things. It's a very important piece of your body, you know, your daily <laughs> function, but it has an enormous ability to protect itself and defend itself and repair itself if you give it the raw materials. And you did a great job. Thank you so much for sharing your testimony. You're welcome. So, now I have a couple questions. Okay. I have um, uh, uh, a wonderful Hungarian lady, 82 years old, 220 pounds, five foot six. Uh, she's on the Z radical CEO pack, no blood sugar issues. For mm -hmm. the last 10 years, she's had severe night sweats but she's 82 i did i was thinking the hormones the xerophim but she's 82 mm -hmm. can't be can it be hormones okay. still okay uh, no, probably not I, I would think that she may have what's called reactive hypoglycemia okay and what happens is when somebody eats uh, a, a meal um you know they'll go sit on the couch and watch television and fall asleep or they will, you know, eat and start doing the dishes and have to sit down and take a little nap before they get up and finish the dishes. At nighttime, when you go to sleep, you're going to be sweating, okay, under the covers because you're falling asleep. Uh, because, not because you're falling asleep because you're falling asleep, you're falling asleep because you have low blood sugar, because you had a big meal, and then you had a snack or a dessert before you went to bed, okay, which is not unusual for people. So, um, what we need to do is look, she's 82 years old. The odds are she has osteoporosis of the skull, right? Mm -hmm. 82 years old, osteoporosis of the skull and all her other issues. And she weighs 220 and she's five foot what? Six. Five foot six. Five foot six for a lady. I'd like to see her 140 maybe. And so now she's 80 pounds overweight. Okay. Um, and so we need to get her. I started her on one meal a day at 82 years old. I wouldn't stress her. I'd get her on one meal a day. Our keto diet, it could be either the bar uh, or a shake, whichever she wanted. It doesn't have to be the same meal every day. Okay, keep one keto meal a day. I'd get her on two um, healthy uh, brain and heart packs per month. I'd get her on vitamin D3, three of those twice a day. And I would get her on the um, MSM so she can rebuild all her bones and her skull and her body and so forth because at A2, the odds are she has osteoporosis all over. And then also I'd get her on the sweeties because I believe she's got this reactive hypoglycemia, which can make you sweat when you have a, a, a dramatic drop in blood sugar, you can start sweating. And so I want her also to get our sweeties. I want her to take three of those three times a day. Okay, three bottles a month. And then of course, none of the bad foods, no fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat brought around, no, no sugar. And she can have rice. People say, well, my doctor says I can't have rice because I have diabetes. Well, your doctor needs to be put in jail. Okay, you can have rice, but you can't have two quarts of rice. You could have, you know, like an ice cream scoop full of rice. Okay, you can have a couple of ice cream scoops full of a baked sweet potatoes and butter. You're not going to starve to death, but you got to give up baked white potatoes. You got to give up spaghetti, which has gluten and calorie, you know, carbohydrate calories in it, uh, kind of thing. You got to give up bread. You got to give up pancakes and waffles and French toast and the breakfast of champions. You have to. It makes you cry. When 25,000 kids in America under the age of 20 drop dead suddenly from hypertrophic cardiomyopathy heart disease, which is a deficiency of a single mineral because they ate Wheaties for breakfast. <clears throat> Thank okay, you. Well, okay, well, question number two, Donna. Um, uh, 42 year old man, 180 pounds, six foot, has shingles. He should be a roofer. <laughs> The other shingles, Dr. Wallace. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so he needs to get off all the bad foods. No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no gluten, no wheat, brown, and oats. 180 pounds of them to have the two healthy brain and heart packs per month. 
I'm to take three vitamin D3 capsules twice a day. I want him to take the killer biotic. He could take three of those twice a day. And I also want him to take and put on the blisters and the little ulcers and things for his shingles directly our colloidal silver, put that on. You don't put the hand sanitizer on it because it stings and people won't do it a second time. <laughs> but the colloidal silver doesn't sting, but it will kill the shingles virus. And um, so it, no matter where you have the shingles, whether it's in your mouth, your hands, or your pelvic area or whatever, um, it'll all go away and very quickly, usually within two to four weeks. Awesome, thank you so very much. Well, God bless you. And thank you so much for sharing your testimony. It's a great one, God bless you. Thank you. I'm grateful to you every day. We love you, dear. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. All right. So now, Dr. Wellick, this lady was getting night sweats. I used to freeze all the time, and I lived in Phoenix mm -hmm. before finding you. Well, I'm glad you got out of there. I'm glad you got out of there because they only lived to be 71. I was <laughs> thinking that myself when you were going over the statistics. <laughs> I'm like, yes, I got out. All right. So I have a question that was written in. And um, Paulette, she used to have wet macular um, in her eyes. And now it's changed to Sorby. Um, she's 60 years old, 200 pounds, and she is going down. And she's five foot two inches tall. She doesn't have any you know, blood tests or anything stating that she's got diabetes or whatsoever, no health problems. It's just the sort, it's S-O-R-S-B-Y. She is wanting to know what can she do nutritionally and be empowered of her own health. Okay, now she's talking about her vision, is that correct? That's correct. Okay, now um, I did a wonderful study and I, I won a steak dinner at Ruth Chris's Steakhouse, a very expensive bottle of French red wine. And um, this eye doctor had to pay for the supplements for 27 of his patients who were legally blind, six, eight, 10 years. And he had to stand on the street corner every afternoon for an hour for a month, screaming that he was guilty of lying and Dr. Wallach was 100% right. Now, why did he have to go through all that? Because uh, I was giving a lecture in, in Salt Lake City, some gosh, it's got to be 20 years ago now. And um, the first question in the Q&A after my lecture, the front row was a guy and he said, my, my mother, who's in her 60s, you know, she's been legally blind uh, all these years from macular degeneration. Is there anything you can do about that? And say, yeah, I can reverse it. This guy jumps up in the back of the room and said, well, like you're a GD liar, it's impossible. I'm an eye surgeon. I diagnose thousands of people with macular degeneration every year. And um, th this, uh, when you're blind, you're blind. There's no way you can reverse it. I said, well, let's have a little wager here. He said, you're on. I said, bring me, and I'll make it a short version here. Bring me uh, some of your charts. So he brought me 12. No, and I said, bring me 12 of your charts. Well, the next day he brought me 27. I said, well, let's take all 27. He said, yeah, these are all legally blind, six, eight, 10 years from macular degeneration. I said, okay, I want you to give him this formula. Okay, the Healthy Brain and Heart Pack. Uh, extra selenium. I want you to give them the ultimate daily classic tablets. I want you to give them the, um, let's see here. Oh, uh, the MSM. I want them to get the Occutive and the Vision FX and uh, stay away from all the bad foods, no fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no gluten, no wheat, around rhinos. And then, you know, let's talk to them, you know, every month and see how it goes. Well, to make a long story short, Rebecca, in 90 days, which was the limit to the, you know, to the project. All 27 could read 2020 without glasses after six, eight, 10 years of being legally blind. They did not have glaucoma. See, that's why I knew, because I asked, do they have glaucoma? No. Do they have cataracts? No. Do they have macular degeneration? Well, yeah, there's only three things that make you blind, and those are the three, and if they didn't have glaucoma and didn't have cataracts, it had to be macular degeneration. Well, um, did any of them die and you got to look at that under the microscope? No. Okay. So I believe that they had osteoporosis of the skull and they had ONA, optic nerve atrophy. And I gave them the products there to get rid of, you know, like 600 different diseases, including osteoporosis of the skull, took the pressure off the optic nerve 
because when you have osteoporosis of the skull, the skull goes from being a quarter of an inch thick to an inch thick, and those tunnels that the nerves go through get 50% smaller on their inside diameter and squeeze the nerves. You lose your sense of smell, you lose your sense of taste. Oh, that's COVID. No, it's osteoporosis of the skull, okay? And so, same way, if you didn't have glaucoma, are you taking drops in your eyes? No, I don't have glaucoma, okay. Are you, do you have cataracts? No, they look in there all the time. They're looking around for cataracts. They take 10 minutes looking in my eyes. I can't find any cataracts. So they say, I must have macular degeneration. Oh, so they're just saying that as a matter of deduction as opposed to actually seeing it. That, well, yeah, I guess so. Okay, so I treat them for all that. And I've gotten more blind people to see in 90 days and be able to read 2020, okay, uh, in 90 days. And so this is, uh, go ahead. It doesn't matter if it's wet or dry. That's correct. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Because it's osteoporosis of the skull most of the time. And so my record is very high of making the blind see. So I'll give all the good credit to the guy upstairs. Yep. Okay. Amen. 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 And of course, this is that time of year, everybody's holiday uh, for, for thanking him. Okay. And so we'll do that, but uh, just, just remember that all of these issues are self-inflicted. Now they can be out of ignorance, but they're self-inflicted. Well, and that's, that's where us taking into our own hands and empowering ourselves with knowledge makes a huge difference. Yeah, well, that's why we have all these books, including Let's Play Doctor, Hell's Kitchen, Immortality, Epigenetics, The Wallet that's Corpus. Right. So, okay, so since we're on eyes, Dr. Wallach, we've got a question mm -hmm. about floaters. What do you do about floaters in the eye? Okay, well, if you're talking about floaters in the river, somebody usually murdered them. Okay, you're talking about floaters in the eyes. In the <laughs> That's eye. like dandruff. It's the same principle as dandruff in your scalp. It's just okay. the lining cells dying and floating around in there. Okay, it's not like there's a bug or a parasite. A lot of people, you know, they go to these mystics and say, oh, you have parasites in your eyes. You have these floaters or little, no. It's just, so you got dandruff inside your eyes. Okay, that means you need your 90 essential nutrients so the lining of your eyes will be healthy and they'll stay put where they're supposed to be. It's that simple. It makes sense. Makes total sense. All right, next let's go to, oh, I wanted to tell you, cause I don't think I've told you. So I got a call back in March from one of my buddies and he was so excited. He's like, Rebecca, I just went to DMV. I got in the wrong line. They asked me to step up to take my eye exam. And I told her, I said, I'm legally blind. I just want my ID. She was like, oh, let's, you know, it's a small town. Let's just do your vision anyways. Dr. Wallach, he walked out of there with his driver's license mm -hmm. and drove home for the first time since 1994. 1994, that's 26 years. Yes. Okay, now, I, I do this all the time. Returning vision is very easy, okay? When you get rid of the bad stuff, so you can absorb the good stuff, you take all the good stuff, Okay, and uh, I don't know how many thousands every year get their eyesight returned to them because it was really osteoporosis of the skull squeezing the optic nerve. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's incredible. It's incredible, and I but love it. I, thank you for that testimony. I'm going to use that testimony. Thank you. Yeah, so and I do what I do because the results that I've Wait a minute, one more question. How long had that guy been on the program? He had only been on for two and a half months. <laughs> After 26 years of blindness, okay, yeah. in, in just six months time, six months or six weeks? It, well, no, it, it, he had only been on the products two and a half months. Yeah, but he'd yeah. been legally blind for... Oh, well, he, they took his driver's license away from him in 1994. Yeah, well, that's 26 so, years. A little before that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. And so just in a couple of months, he gets his vision back. Just in a couple of months. Yeah, that was osteoporosis. It's called, I guarantee it. Yeah. 
and that's what keeps me going and want to make sure that everybody hears this message. You know, well, don't forget the Manchurian prescription. Distance yourself, wear your mask and wash your hands. And what did we get for it? 16 million infections, 300,000 deaths. And we set a record two days ago, Rebecca. That's not said, the record we want to set. No, no, we, we set a record. I haven't put that number in before. We had the most deaths ever in one night in the United States, 3,124 in one night deaths from COVID in the United States in one night, three days ago. Like I said, that's not- We set record. a record, come on. That's, yeah, that's not one to be proud of. I'm <laughs> sorry, folks. Oh, goodness gracious. So let's go to Jane, who has her hand up. Jane, go ahead and unmute yourself. You're on live with Dr. Wallach. Here I am. Um, I also have a testimony. I'm, oh, great. I'm oh. in about going into my third month of, of, the, of your supplies. And okay. I had osteoporosis of the skull. I'm feeling much stronger. There's just mm -hmm. no question about it. And my blood pressure is more, it's not completely right, but it's more often right than not. And um, I- You're I going can't, in the right direction. Absolutely, absolutely. And I've, I've, had, I've had very bad um, arthritis. That's about the one thing that's still there in my arms. Mm -hmm. but, um, okay, um, now. You know, see, that can also be osteoporosis of the skull, squeezing your spinal cord as it's coming out of the back of your skull. Okay. And so uh, are, are you taking MSM along with the healthy bone and joint? Pack? Yes, I'm, I'm oh. taking five of those. Oh, good. What about, uh, are you taking any vitamin D3? Yes, right now I, I'm, I'm taking at least two twice a day. Should I take the three twice? Uh, I take three. How much do you weigh? How much do you weigh, Jane? Um, I'm, I'm up to maybe 124. <laughs> okay. I'm, 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 I'm now, I ju just turned 79. Congratulations. Now I have to ask you a couple of questions. Okay. I have to ask you a couple of questions. Um, let's see here. Uh, you're 124 pounds. Uh, how tall are you? Uh, 410. Okay, four ten. Okay, and I'm cool. the one who's. I've lost four four inches since my okay. marriage. Yeah. Okay, so you've shrunk four inches, so that that explains a lot. Now, do you have any varicose veins or spider veins in your legs? No. Okay, you have a little bit of gray hair. Yeah. Okay, all right, and so your gray hair is going to start going away. Okay, because it's it is getting better. Yes. <laughs> yeah. In a couple of months, I'm, I'm, you know, in your age group, I'm in a couple of months, I'll be 82. And uh, most people think I'm in my fifties because of my energy and everything. So I go to the barber. Okay. Or actually the barber came to me because they closed their shop down. Barber came to me and he cuts my hair and he says, uh, Hey, Wallach, uh, what are you coloring your hair with? You know, I've, I've never seen such really, really nice hair color in an 82 year old guy. I said, I'm not, this is, this is my hair color. He says, no way. I've never seen anybody over 75 without some gray hair. He, I said, well, I take my supplements and stay away from gluten. And I should have saved it. But the next time I get a haircut in a couple more weeks, I'll get a haircut again. I'm going to send it in and do a hair analysis. I haven't done a hair analysis in, gosh, about five years. So I should probably do another one now. It'll be very interesting to see and compare the two. But at any rate, are you staying away from gluten? Yes. Okay, good. All right. Do you have any other questions today? No, I guess not. I, I'm, I'm, it may be becoming some hemorrhoids. And I guess the main thing was my arms that I, yeah. they're a little well, achy. Okay, well, the vitamin D3, the MSM. Now, the hemorrhoids are like varicose veins in your legs. It's the same thing that causes them. The same thing that causes hemorrhoids and varicose veins in your legs causes the gray hair. The same deficiency causes gray hair, hemorrhoids, and varicose veins and spider veins. So, um, you, what I want you to do, how many of our selenium are you taking? Six. Okay, good. Keep taking three twice a day or two, three times a day, whatever it is, six a day. And as your hair color comes back, which it will, your hemorrhoids will go away. Okay. Because the same deficiency that results in white hair causes a breakdown of the elastic fibers and veins and results in hemorrhoids and varicose veins. They're actually caused by the same thing. 
I, I love when I lecture to a group of 500 or 1,000 people and I see there's maybe 25 people with snow white hair in the audience. And during the q and I'll say, okay, I have to ask a question here. Everybody with white hair who has varicose veins stand up and all of them stand up. Okay, is, is, so I, I'm 50 feet away from them. I've never met those people. I already know what their deficiencies are by looking at their white hair from 50 feet away. Okay, so thank you so very much for sharing your testimony. You're an angel of God. We can't thank you enough. God bless you. And let us hear from you, you know, on a regular basis, okay? Thank you very much. God bless you, dear. Awesome, wonderful, Jane. That is fantastic. And I did not know that you had such great results already. That's fan. That's Isn't that wonderful. beautiful. That is beautiful. That's what we're here for, Dr. Wallach. Yeah, age has nothing to do with the results. You say, well, I'm 75 years old. My doctor says I got to expect this because I'm getting older. Fire that doctor. That'd be like your mechanic saying, don't put oil in your car. You're just wasting your money. But it's, but it's a Jaguar. Don't waste your money on oil. Just put dirt from Texas in there. There's bound to be some oil in that dirt. It's from Texas. An insane person wouldn't do that to their car. But when a doctor says, oh, don't take any vitamins and minerals, just eat while you get everything you need. That doctor should be put in jail for being a serial killer, spelled both ways, S-E-R and C-E-R. I agree. I agree. So now we have a question coming in from a 42-year-old woman. She's about 140 pounds, five foot six, and she she's trying to have another child. She's been under a lot of stress though um, over the last year, um, and she got on the Healthy Body Start Pack, uh, the Brain and Heart Pack rather, and Xerofem, which she had very sporadic. Um, irregular or not cycles non-existent cycles but okay. now she's been on for 11 days um with heavy flow and some cramping what do we need to do here dr wallach okay well let's see here at 140 pounds i'd have her take two healthy brain and heart packs per month i'd have That's her take uh, okay good i'd have her take three of those xerofem twice a day she also needs the msm three of those twice a day um, I'd also have her take the um, three eggs twice a day with soft yolks. She needs to be making more estrogen, but she's going to need the raw materials to make estrogen. Just like you can take all the vitamin D3 you want, but if you're not taking all the other 89 nutrients, you're not going to be able to rebuild your bones. Same thing here. Uh, for that Xerofem to work, uh, she's going to need to take um, three eggs twice a day because estrogen and progesterone and testosterone, whether it's male or female, okay, is 95% by weight cholesterol. And if she's on statin drugs, she's got to get off of statin drugs, okay? Because statin drugs will lower your cholesterol, which is bad. Well, what about my arteries? Well, cholesterol does not cause plaque in your arteries. Cholesterol does not appear in plaque in your arteries. Cholesterol does not cause heart disease. Cholesterol makes up 75% of your brain weight, makes up the white matter of your brain is cholesterol. Um, and then also 95% of the weight of estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone is cholesterol. You got to eat three eggs a minimum twice a day. Okay. And all things will be good, but she's got to stay away from the bad stuff so she can absorb. All right. Next, Dr. Wallach, we have um, some questions that are coming in through the chat. Um, and what can a person do for herpes? Not sure what kind of herpes they have, or if it's oral or genital, would it be the same protocol? And I know you mentioned earlier about shingles, putting that colloidal silver on there. Yeah, exactly. It would be the same protocol. You gotta get off all the bad stuff so they can absorb no fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat brought around oats. They gotta take the 90 essential nutrients. I'd go with a big hammer, the healthy brain and heart pack, one per hundred pounds of body weight the MSM and vitamin D3 um, so, they can, so they can rebuild the skin and all the connective tissue. But also I'd go again when you have um, herpes, uh, they need to put um, neat just straight. There's a colloidal silver on the herpes. You can use a Q-tip or a cotton ball, um, whether it's genital, if it's on the cervix and in the vagina, they can put it on a tampon. If it's external, it's easy. You just touch it with a, a, a a um, cotton ball that you've soaked in the colloidal silver. Um, 
and it'll kill the viruses. The herpes goes away very quickly, whether it's genital or on your lips or doesn't matter, it'll go away. So would it help just with that, out, with that outbreak or is it, because I'm told that once you've got it, you've always got it, which we know that other that's things that, that's it's not true. That's crapola. Right. Now here's the deal. If you just take aspirin to relieve the pain and burning of herpes, you will have it forever. Okay, but if you get your immune system up there by getting rid of the bad foods, so you can absorb the nutrients, you're making white blood cells and antibodies, and you can kill it with this, you won't have it forever unless you have a partner that's not doing something and you're reinfecting yourself all the time by being with that partner. They got to be on the same thing. If you have a partner, okay, you're sleeping with, whether you're having, whether you have uh, general herpes or facial herpes or lip herpes, it doesn't matter. They've got to be on the same program. Otherwise, they're, you keep reinfecting each other. Makes sense, makes sense. So here's another question, and then I have a testimonial after this one too. Um, what can a person do after they have had COVID? Some symptoms did not, um, some have had COVID symptoms, did not need hospitalization, but they want, no, want to know what they can do post. Um, she still is feeling brain fogginess, just not feeling herself or back to normal. Um, she's doing chiropractic care and cranial sacral massages. So what else can somebody do that has had it and they're just not back to themselves yet, Dr. Wallace? Okay, I have a very important question to ask that person. Uh, how many nutrients is, is in a massage or in a chiropractic adjustment? Zero. Zero. So this person's going to have to see that's symptomatic treatment. Nothing wrong with that, but it's not going to solve the problem to answer the question. So this individual can solve the problem. They're going to have to get rid of all the bad foods, everybody in their life. So there's no cross contamination in the bed and the food preparation surfaces and the laundry and the rugs and couches, no fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat, brown, rye, and oats, no sugar. They cannot work in a pizza hut. They can't work in a spaghetti factory. They can't work you know, in any restaurants or grocery stores that sell those kind of things, okay? And then per 100 pounds of body weight, I want them to have the healthy brain and heart pack, one healthy brain and heart pack. I also want them to take the, the MSM, three of those twice a day. I want them to uh, take the uh, vitamin D3, three of those twice a day, the killer biotic, I take three of those twice a day. Also, you can take the fucoid Z and take three of those twice a day, the capsules, or if you prefer the liquid, you can take the Z radical, which is our fucoid Z in a liquid form, take an ounce of that twice a day. And that's all gonna support your immune system, but you gotta stay away from the bad foods forever. You gotta live like you're in Hong Kong or Beijing or Tokyo. You gotta live like that or you know, dietarily forever. Uh, there's no doubt about it. The Asians do much better when it comes to um, uh, these types of diseases primarily because they don't have a gluten problem. They're absorbing nutrients and most of them don't supplement. They're just absorbing the nutrients because they eat a lot of um, seaweed. Okay. Because they're, they're all sort of have a coastal line. So they eat a lot of seaweed. Like we eat cabbage, they eat seaweed. There's many more minerals in seaweed than there is in cabbage because cabbage might only have three minerals in it. If it's grown in Texas, if it's grown in Indiana, it might have, it might have seven minerals in it. If it's grown in Montana, it might have 18 minerals in it. Okay, but seaweed is pretty uniform. It's going to have 20 something minerals in there. And that's why they do very well. And um, they do eat some fried foods, but they don't eat gluten. Now, some of the people in the big city do because they have a lot of European and North American tourists that go through there and they want their Wheaties for breakfast. They want their oatmeal for breakfast. They want their pancakes for breakfast. Okay, that kind of thing. They want bread. Okay, well, those are the people in those countries that get the COVID you know, the cook in the hotel that's making those things for the tourists. So he says, well, I'll just eat it myself instead of eating like everybody else out there uh, in their city or eating rice and sweet potatoes, they're gonna eat what they're cooking for the tourists. And so those are the people in Hong Kong that get the, the COVID infection. Uh, those are the people in Taiwan and Thailand that get the infection. Those are the people in China and India that get the infection, okay? The rest of them don't get it because they're living on rice and sweet potatoes and they're eating a lot of seaweed. So they're getting, and that's, that's what this is made out of. <laughs> 
Okay, Z radical. Okay. And also fucoid Z is made from a brown seaweed. Okay, and it really supports the immune system. And so there's no reason for any American to die from COVID. And so that's why I've entitled my new presentation for the next year. Um, I've already done my, my presentation where it's been filmed. I'll have the tool. I'm breathless because it was eight Asian countries. And I'll find out how many people. Was it a thousand people? Was it 10,000 people? Was it a hundred thousand people? Was it a million people? Because there was eight countries on there at the same time. And I, um, they said the, the filming came out perfect. Everything was perfect. So the tool will be available probably in the next 30 days. And it's going to be entitled, my lecture is going to be entitled The Manchurian Prescription. So Dr. Wallach, I know we're at the top of the hour, but I want to share this. I got this email from a client. He'd been only been on the products for about a month and a half. He had gotten them. Um, he called me when he was in rehab after being diagnosed and hospitalized for this amazing pandemic that we are experiencing mm -hmm. now. And his email to me yesterday, he said, my breathing has taken a turn for the better over the last five to seven days, noticeably better. I can breathe better now than I have in the last two to three years. Wow. He said, I would like to blame longevity for this improvement. <laughs> am, I just, <laughs> am I justified? And I'm thinking, we got him on your protocol, you know, just as soon as he could. He said he, when he was in rehab, he couldn't take everything exactly as instructed but got home, got on the system. And I mean, this has been a month, maybe, Dr. Wallach. The human body is an amazing thing. We've been given yes, the is. ability to protect ourselves, to heal ourselves, but it requires nutrients, okay? Um, this is why people go to the doctor again. This is why people go to the doctor uh, every month for B12 shot and iron shot because they can't absorb iron and B12. So the doctor gives them a shot. Now, is a doctor ignorant and doesn't know that they can't absorb those things, even if they supplement, and that's why he's giving him a shot, he's going around the intestines by giving him an injection? Or is he ignorant? Or is he just milking them like a cow and he knows the answer? Either way, he should go to jail. Because yeah. you remember, the people in Arizona, their average lifespan is 71. Same population in Hong Kong, their average lifespan is 84. 13 year difference by what they eat it's just as simple. Well, we're going to live to 120, Dr. Wallach. That's and not enough, right dear. Now, <laughs> let's, let's take a quick five-minute break. We will okay. be right back with you. Thank you, everybody, for joining us here on Ask Doc Live. Um, stay, stick around. Don't leave. We will be right back. And if you have questions, please, you can reach out to us, raise your hand if you're on the call with us live today. If you click in the menu options of Zoom, click on participants, and then you will see an option to raise your hand. So go ahead and utilize that. And I just wanna do a reminder that this show is not intended to replace your primary care physician. It is for educational information only. And these are true testaments using the research and formulations that Dr. Wallach has spent his lifetime working on. And we are proud to be able to do this show and bring it to the community. We'll be right back. All right, as we're waiting for Dr. Wallach to come back, just wanted to remind everybody that you are watching Ask Doc Live that is sponsored by AskDocLive.com. And all of the information that you are hearing here, I want you to really take into consideration that what we eat, what we put in our mouths really does make a difference. Now, if you were invited to watch this program by somebody specifically, make sure you get back with them. I mean, they cared enough and took the time to share this information with you that 
they obviously know something that they want to share with you that's very important and they care about you so especially if they are part of longevity and in this business with us we want to make sure that you get back in contact with them if you have never placed an order through longevity and you're interested in getting more information or placing an order we do have our askdoclive.com no it's askdoclive.com website that you can go to we have a store there we have contact us you can email us and get information but we you can also reply to the email that you received um, inviting you to this program if you're on with us live or we have a call team standing by at 800-949-7234. All right, Dr. Wallach, you ready to get back at this? We've got a, just under an hour. We're back. <laughs> All right. So Dr. Wallach, we have Mary who is live with us today. And Mary, if you could unmute yourself. Thank you. you. Are, you're very welcome. You're on live with Dr. Wallach, Mary. Hey. What a privilege. Well, uh, thank you. How can we help you? Well, um, right now I'm already on the products for my macular and, uh, and other things. But today um, I'm 87 years old and I'm five foot tall and I weigh 130 pounds. And um, right, I'm still having trouble with my blood pressure, but I'm not really good on the, on the gluten. So okay. I imagine when I get off of that, I'll, but another problem is I have so much phlegm in my throat and I don't, I can't seem to get rid of it. Okay, now let me ask you a couple of questions. I see you have some gray hair. Oh yes, I have, but it's getting <laughs> darker. It's getting darker. Okay, how long have you been on the products? Oh, quite some time, but just okay. um, about two months doing your macular. Okay, program. Okay. Protocol, now, yeah. Okay. Now, um, do you have any varicose veins or spider veins oh, yeah. in your legs? Yeah, yes. see, that goes along with the gay hair. I can tell. I can look at people and say, okay, you got varicose <laughs> veins and hemorrhoids and, and spider veins and all that kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> what about what you said? You have some blood pressure issues. Do you have any yeah. diabetes? Diabetes? No. Diabetes. Okay, good. Uh, what about arthritis? No. Okay. Do you have any tinnitus or ringing in the ears? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's a squeezing. That's a squeezing of the uh, auditory branch of the eighth cranial nerve by osteoporosis of the skull, which is not unusual in somebody, you know, who's uh, uh, 87 years old. Congratulations, 87 years old. Okay. Do you have any balance problems or dizziness anytime? Yes, I do. Okay, that is a uh, squeezing of the vestibular branch of the eighth cranial nerve. Um, what about your sense of smell and taste? Have you lost any sense of smell and taste? I have got it back. I did have the loss, but it's coming back. It's coming back, okay. Okay, do you need to hang up that phone? There's Thank somebody's you. phone ringing, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know the answer, but I'm asking you those questions so our listeners all know that, you know, when you get to this stuff, and doctors think this is an age thing. It's not an age thing. It's a nutritional deficiency no. thing, okay? So um, you're going to be a spring chicken in about six months here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so I already I think I am. <laughs> you, know, you feel, you're feeling pretty good? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Do you, do you ever get sleepy after a meal? You know, you have a good big meal and half hour later you're kind of getting drowsy? Oh, pretty much, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. That's reactive hypoglycemia. You have sort of a, it was called, in the old days, it used to be called narcolepsy. It'd be called narcolepsy in the old days. Um, do you have any history of any skin problems? Any eczema, dermatitis, uh, rosacea? No, no, no age problem. Okay. spots. No, age spots, okay. Um, mm -hmm. That's due to oxidative damage to the fats in your skin, okay. And then 
Um, what about any bowel problems, any constipation, diarrhea, irritable bowel syndrome, celiac disease, diverticulitis, anything like that? Not so much, no. no. Not so much, okay. No, I, I, I know about your products. <laughs> okay, good. Well, again, I'm asking that for the rest of our listening audience here. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So anyway, but you're doing a great job, Mary. So what I want you to do, and again, this is again for our listening audience because you're already probably doing most of this. I don't want you to get rid of all the bad foods, no fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat, barn, rye, and oats. And if you can do that in your environment so you're not cross-contaminated by the dog and the cat and renter and roommate and grandkids and brothers and sisters and spouse and so forth, um, everybody's got to be drop-dead gluten-free so there's no cross-contamination in the laundry and the, and the bed and the couches and the rugs and the food preparation surfaces. Then at 130 pounds, I want you to take one healthy brain and heart pack per month. If finances are not a problem, you could take two. I weigh 100, I, I only weigh 12 pounds more than you. I weigh 142 pounds. Mm -hmm. And um, I uh, take two of the healthy brain and heart packs per month. And I'm not far behind, I'm 82. Okay, so I'm not far <laughs> behind it. Okay, and so um, uh, it's one of those things where you need to uh, take the MSM, go ahead and take three of those. Uh, twice a day, that'll be one bottle a month. Get the vitamin D3, take three of those twice a day, that's two bottles a month. I also want you to take the Ultimate Daily Classic Tablets for the blood pressure, take three of those twice a day, two bottles a month. And they will support healthy blood pressure, but also they'll uh, promote healthy blood flow through the arteries in your brain, your heart, your kidneys, and your legs, and every place else. And um, again, it wouldn't hurt in these days and time to either take some um, killer biotic okay, to kind of get your immune system protected here and kill bugs, including viruses. You want to take our Fucoid Z, which are capsules. You can take three of those twice a day. If you prefer the liquid, you could take our Z radical, okay, our Z radical, uh, which is our liquid Fucoid Z. Take an ounce of that, or uh, take a half ounce, take a tablespoon twice a day. So one quart's going to last you two months. And um, again, by doing all those things, it wouldn't hurt to throw in some pollen burst and, you know, you just, you know, you want to watch your budget, but uh, you want to make sure you're taking care of yourself. And there's no reason why you can't live well beyond 110, 112, 115, 120. And, you know, <laughs> and, um, it's just a matter of protecting yourself and maximizing the absorption of these nutrients so you can put them to work. Um, do you ever have to go to a doctor for B12 shots or iron shots? No. Good girl. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. So, okay. You're, you're on the way and I want you to get on every couple of weeks, if you would, we're not going to be on, I guess, because of the holidays here. Um, are we going to be on next Friday, uh, Rebecca? Yes. Okay. We're going to be on. So yeah, if you could get on every once in a while. Okay. Uh, and uh, give us a report because uh, you're going to be a great, great testimony. You're going to help so many people who are reaching, you know, that retirement age. They're in their late 60s, early 70s. And they say, well, is this it? You know, is the game over? No. You and I got another 50, 60 years, dear. Okay. You got that right. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. God bless you, Mary. Thank you. You too. Thank you. So, yes, everybody, we will be on next Friday, but we are going to take Christmas off, Dr. Wallach. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah. I'm putting my foot down. <laughs> okay. Well, don't forget. Well, they can rerun an old show. Well, could, but we love this live stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, don't forget the Manchurian prescription. That's coming out here within 30 days. I mean, it is like crazy speaking to eight Asian countries at the same time and giving them the same information we just gave out here today. Well, I'm looking forward to it. And I know everybody that is listening is as well. You will be able to find that at drjwallach.com. And we will also be getting that loaded at astoclive.com when it becomes available for us. So thank you everybody for sticking with us. And Dr. Wallach, I have another email that has come in. Okay. And this gentleman is uh, 62 years old. And for the last 15 years, he's been experiencing low testosterone with some prostate concerns. 
He was also told he has a, an iron storage disease called hemochromatosis. And just in the last uh, three months, he has, it's gotten to the point where he's had to use a catheter to relieve himself. And he found out that with this iron storage condition, um, that iron gets stored in the testicles as well. And is wondering if that's what's contributing to the, the issues that he's having with having to use a catheter. Did he give us his weight, Rebecca? Um, 185 pounds. Okay. And he is on the longevity products, Dr. Wallach. Um, okay, that's 75% that's, uh, of it, but yes. you still have to get off all the bad foods. Right. And I, I've actually had bets with people and they had to pay off, okay, because uh, I got their license number and their social security number and all that kind of stuff. And I would have reported them if they didn't pay off. And they said, I have no gluten in my house. I said, no, you got to have gluten. You're taking all this stuff. You're not seeing any improvement. No, I don't believe you. Um, I said, I need to know what you got in your house. He says, well, why don't you come over tomorrow? I said, no, let's go right now together. And you're going to have to give me a hundred bucks for every source of gluten that I'm finding in your house. He says, you're on. He had to pay me $1,200 because it found 12 sources of gluten in his house. That's a true story. Okay. But if I'd have gone the next day, he'd have gone there and cleaned it all out. Right. I knew that was right. why he said, well, let's go tomorrow. No, no, no. I may be short, but I'm not stupid. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this guy needs to um, get rid of all the bad foods. No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no gluten, no wheat, brown, and oats. He needs to take two healthy brain and heart packs per month, two healthy brain and heart packs per month. I want him to take our MSM, three of those three times a day, uh, there's two bottles a month. I want him, that's for the hemochromatosis thing, which I'll get to in a minute. Uh, he also needs three of the uh, vitamin D3 capsules twice a day, there's two bottles a month. I want him to take uh, two bottles a month of our um, ultimate daily classic tablets so he can support healthy blood pressure and healthy uh, um, blood flows or blocked arteries because um, let's see here and then I want him to eat three eggs three times a day with soft yolks if he's on statin drugs he's got to get rid of statin drugs and fire his doctor if his doctor put him on statin drugs he's got to get off of the statin drugs uh, better yet for six months don't fire the doctor yet box up all the statin drugs and give them to the doctor Say, look, I'm not going to take these anymore, but rather than throw them away, they're so valuable. I'm, you know, I just love you so much, Doc, and all your help. Please, please, you take these stent drugs. And um, then, because cholesterol has nothing to do with blocked arteries or heart disease, it was all a lie. And so, but it does um, prevent you um, from making uh, testosterone if you're on stent drugs. So he's got to get off of stent drugs and take three eggs three times a day. Then I want him to take the Zera test. I want him to take three of those three times a day. Okay, that'll be uh, three bottles a month. And they're designed to give the Sertoli cells in the testicles what they need to make testosterone. And then we have the ProstFX. He could take three of those twice a day or three times a day, whatever is okay with him. Um, and it gives all the nutrients necessary uh, to make the prostate gland happy. He should be okay, you know, within say 30 to 60 days, he'll see improvement within weeks. And he needs that ultimate daily classic tablets because, you know, when you have ED, erectile dysfunction, that's which kind of where he's going here, that low testosterone and prostate issues. Um, it's, there's all kinds of reasons for that, including your arteries are blocked and if you can't get blood flow, you know, to the penis, it can't do its work. Okay, it can't respond properly. Okay. And so um, the, all these things put together, if he does all this, uh, give us a call every two weeks because he's going to have a great testicular testimony. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, a, 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 te a testicular money. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Thank you. Thank you. So now we have a comment. So actually, I want to go back to that one real quick. I know that heavy metals can get trapped in the body what would be the best, the safest way to be able to detoxify our body from heavy metals? Okay, in addition to everything we've said, I understand. In addition to everything we've said, um, they need to get a hold of the book, Rare Earths Forbidden Cures in chapter 10, 11, tells you how to collect your hair, how to box it up, where to ship it to, 
and how to interpret the results when you get it back in two or three weeks. Don't forget to put the check in there because they're not going to run it without the check. Okay. And there's two tables in that um, report you're going to get back. One is on all the nutritional minerals and it'll give you a graph and it'll show you which ones are low. If they're all low, you're not absorbing because you're eating too much. You're eating gluten, right? You can't right. absorb them even if you're sub supplementing. So everybody should at least get a hair analysis once a year and see. But then there's a second chart that tells you all your toxic metals. And a lot of hippies and yippies and, you know, healers and everything, if they don't know what's wrong, they'll say, well, you have toxic metals and, you know, you got to stop eating these products because they probably have fertilizers in them and pesticides and all that kind of stuff. And a lot of that is true, but a lot of it's crapola. And so this is what the hair analysis is for. And so you'll know exactly what to do. Now, I think that chart gives you about nine or 10 different categories of toxic metals, including mercury and lead and those kind of things. And so we have programs for that in the book, Rare Earths Been Cures. We have programs for that book in the book, Epigenetics. We have programs for that in the book, Hell's Kitchen. Okay. We tell you what to do for those things um, in the Wallach's Corpus. Okay. Also um, in the CD and the DVD set, is your doctor killing you? All those things are available through your, your sources, your, you know, your websites and, and so forth. Um, you need to get this information and put it to use and put it to work because to ask me, what do you do for it until you know what you got? I'd be remiss in giving you an answer. Okay. Right. So let's find out if you have heavy metals. Let's find if you do, you have one or two or three or five. What are the sources? Why do you have those? And then uh, at the same time, we'll tell you what to do for each one. It's very simple. Once you know the basic question, so you know how to answer it. If you don't know what the question is, you can't answer the question. And I've, I've seen the results of these hair analysis mm -hmm. that you do and the, the whole method. I have it recommended to so many people and it's very in-depth very in-depth it even yeah. gives you ratios mineral ratios yes oh so one of the, one of the ones i love uh, rebecca one of the ones i love when you get a hair analysis and all of your minerals are kind of in the middle range except for calcium and magnesium i mean they're off the roof and your doctor is saying you're supplementing with too much calcium because your hair analysis says you know your calcium's off the roof immediately throw out all your calcium give it to somebody else give it to your dog but you can't take any more calcium that doctor needs to go to jail because what's happening here is you have raging osteoporosis and your parathyroid glands are pulling calcium out of your bones. And so you're getting a spike in calcium in your blood because your parathyroid glands pulling calcium out of your bones because your calcium is too low. The worst possible thing you can do when you have high calcium in your hair analysis is to get rid of calcium out of your diet, give up dairy. Well, I can't have dairy because my calcium is high in my hair analysis. Well, whoever interpreted it for you needs to go to jail. They need to increase those cofactors, right? That's right, including vitamin D3, MSM, more calcium, more calcium, more calcium. And then the next time you do a hair analysis in 90 days, that calcium would be down in the normal range because your parathyroid glands are happy and they've gone for vacation. Awesome. <laughs> so, Dr. Wellick, here's a good mm -hmm. question. What is the difference between prebiotics and plain old probiotics? Okay. Well, prebiotics can be interpreted two ways. It could be the food for the probiotics. Okay. Or it could be a probiotic before it's in you. Okay. And so usually it, it, you refer to the prebiotic as the food you're given to the bugs. Okay. And so this is why you have to have your 90 cents of nutrients. Not only you're feeding yourself, but you're feeding your probiotics. Even bugs can't work without the 90 essential nutrients. Okay. It's kind of like, well, I've got 25 dairy cows. Only three of them will give me milk. Well, what about the other 22? Well, um, the three that give me milk, are they, are they all the same breed? No. The three that give me milk are Holsteins. Okay. Well, they weigh about 1,200 pounds or big six foot tall cows. What about the other 20? Well, their, their jerseys are only four foot tall and only, you know, weigh half the weight. Well, the big three 
they're standing there eating all the food and keeping the little ones away. That's why they're not giving any milk. They're not getting the probiotics. Okay, simple story. Well, as a farm girl myself, I prefer <laughs> to drink Jersey over Holstein. Well, there you go. Well, it's creamier. It's creamier, higher fat. And of course, dairy fat is, is is something that your ovaries need to make more estrogen, make you happier. <laughs> I'm happy. I had somebody on my Facebook page this morning say they think that I'm the happiest person they have on their friends list. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. So Dr. Wallach, we have Christine with her hand up with us today. Christine, go ahead and unmute yourself. You are on live with Dr. Wallach. Thank you. Hi, Doc. Hi, Christine. How can we help you? Uh, thank you so much for the good job. We thank God for that amazing wisdom God has given you. Well, thank yeah, you. Now, I have two questions. Okay. The first question, uh, this uh, man has, uh, is 90 years old, sorry, 60 years old is 148 pounds but um, the main problem he has is that he can't uh, urinate normally right now he's using a catheter okay all right yeah. and now you gave two different ages is he 60 pounds or, or excuse me 60 years old or 90 years old how old is this guy 60 60 60, 60. Six zero. okay okay yes. six zero yeah okay and yeah. 148 pounds, does he have any other issues that you know of, diabetes or high blood pressure? No. Okay, so let's just go with... Sure I know his okay, okay, well, let's go with what we got here. He needs to get rid of all the bad foods. No yeah. fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat, brown, rye, and oats, no sugar. And then I okay. want him to have two healthy brain and heart packs per month, two healthy brain and heart packs mm -hmm. per month, the full dose, everything twice a day. I want him to have mm -hmm. the... Um, Let's see here, MSM, I want to take three of those twice a day. There's one bottle a month for the MSM, so I can take three twice a day. I also want him to mm -hmm. take the Zara test, three of those tablets twice a day. Mm -hmm. uh, that'll be two bottles a month. And they're mm -hmm. going to give the Sertoli cells, and the testicles, the raw materials they need to make testosterone. Then I also want him to have our um, ProstFX product. He can take three of those twice a day. It's two bottles a month. And it's going to give mm -hmm. the prostate gland what it needs. But, mm -hmm. and also that MSM, I said that he needs vitamin D3, vitamin D3, okay. three of those twice a day. So he can absorb mm -hmm. the minerals and put them in his bones. I want him to have our collagen. He can have either the glucogel or the mm -hmm. um, pro joint FX, three of those twice a day or the glucogel, five of those twice a day, a couple of bottles a month. Now, the reason I'm okay. putting a heavy emphasis on the MSM and the pro joint FX and the glucogel and the vitamin D3 is- yes. As much as 50, 60, 75% of the time, when people okay. have a prostate problem, it's really a back yeah. problem, okay? They have degenerative disc mm -hmm. disease, they have sciatica, they got pain in their feet and legs. And it's because okay. the vertebrae are getting closer together and smashing the roots of those sciatic nerves, which control mm -hmm. the bladder, okay? Mm -hmm. And so it's really a back problem that they can't urinate because those nerves are being squeezed. It's a peripheral neuropathy. Mm -hmm. When you get all this stuff, you make the disc thicker, push the vertebrae apart, and suddenly now the nerves can work and they can urinate. And so we're covering both mm -hmm. bases here. But it wouldn't hurt to okay. ask this guy a question. Have you shrunk any, you know, since you were 20 years old? How tall when you were 20? How tall are you now at age 60? Because if you shrunk two or three inches, you know already mm -hmm. that those uh, sciatic nerves are being squeezed and it's a nerve, it's a peripheral neuropathy causing the bladder problem, not a bladder problem. Mm. So why does the doctor want to do a prostate operation and a bladder operation? The first question you have to ask the doctor who's going that direction when you have a prostate problem is how many kids do you have in college and when is the <laughs> tuition due? Mm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, next okay. second question. Okay, second the question. second question, this is a boy only 11 years old, okay. has been having severe eczema the old body for 11 years since he was a baby and mm -hmm. the skin is bad this bad condition bad situation okay now does he have any yeah. other issues any asthma bronchitis um no 
Okay. Does he have any bowel yes. problems, constipation, diarrhea, irritable bowel syndrome, anything like that? Do you know? Yes, constipation problems. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now this little kid, do we know how mm -hmm. much he weighs? Yeah, eighty-five pounds. Eighty-five pounds. Okay. Yeah, he's got severe gluten mm -hmm. issues. Gluten issues cause okay. you not to be able to absorb because your mm -hmm. villi are gone, your bone marrow is dead. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you cannot absorb the nutrients. Mm -hmm. Okay, for the skin to be healthy. Mm -hmm. And all of these things mm -hmm. is eczema, psoriasis, and um, dermatitis, all these things in the skin and mm -hmm. the bowel problems go along with mm -hmm. a gluten thing. So everybody in the household got to get rid of gluten, no wheat, no brown rye and oats, no more Wheaties, no more oatmeal, no more pancakes or waffles or, mm -hmm. or French toast, no more spaghetti. He can have corn tortillas, but not flour mm -hmm. tortillas. He can have a gluten-free mm -hmm. pizza because I have uh, pizza, gluten-free pizza three nights a week, okay, with all my toppings okay. and everything, okay, but it's made mm -hmm. with cauliflower, gluten-free crust. Okay. You, you can get them frozen. You get a 12-inch frozen uh, gluten-free pizza mm -hmm. from a grocery store for like six bucks. Mm -hmm. If you get it from, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's um, Domino's, uh, it might cost you 12 bucks. Mm -hmm. So, you know, mm. when, I, when I do it for guests, I do it from Domino's, but when I do it for me, I do it from mm. uh, the grocery store, okay? But uh, okay. then, of course, at um, 85 pounds, I want him to take one mm. healthy brain and heart pack per month, cut it in half mm. so he can take a half a dose of breakfast, half a dose of dinner time. Mm. And he's got to have, you know, every day he's got to have a full dose of everything, but a half mm -hmm. a dose twice a day. And, you know, there's mm. a lot of some pills and things and somebody said, well, I'll just give them one a day and it'll last them six months. One, mm. one healthy brain and heart pack will last six months. Don't do that because you're not going to get the results. The reason why there's okay. a lot of them, it requires mm. a lot of them to solve the problem. And people say, okay. well, which one is it? Well, if I told them, they would just run to the pharmacy and get that one product and they wouldn't mm. get the result because you yes. need all 90, right? And so mm -hmm. I don't tell people what those individual nutrients are, but if they get the books and the CDs and the DVDs, it'll tell them. It's not mm -hmm. like I'm hiding a secret, but <laughs> if I just mm -hmm. said over the air, oh, it's this nutrient, then everybody mm -hmm. runs out and buys that nutrient and then they die the yeah. be because they didn't take all 90. There's 89 short. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. give us a call if you would every couple of weeks on both these mm -hmm. guys. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yes. And so you'll have great testimonies as far as Christine. Thank you so much. God bless you, dear. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, Dr. Wallach, I did try doing just that nutrient before hearing about <laughs> you. And thankfully, I did not die. But I was doing the whole cherry picking. You know, you listen to a, sh to a show on TV. They're talking about this specific nutrient and all these great things that it's good for. And I never felt anything better. Never. I mean, I was, I had more than what I have on here in my background and was getting no results. So share with us the biggest difference between what you would get on the corner store shelf mm -hmm. and what you're getting with longevity. Besides- Okay, the quality of the product, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, here's the difference. When you hear the advertisements on TV for some of the most famous vitamin and mineral products on the market. I'm not gonna give you their name, but they're, I mean, they've been around a long time. And these are the things that doctors would recommend. They say complete nutrition, complete nutrition, 27 nutrients. They're not, they don't even have 30% of the 90. And yet they call it complete nutrition. See, if I wanted to sue them, I could go sue them and I would win in a court case and get millions of dollars or billions of dollars from them. But I'm not that kind of guy, okay? Um, it's one of those things where um, education is everything. Knowledge, you've heard this before, knowledge is power, but you have to employ it, okay? But when they say complete nutrition, 27 nutrients, well, there's 60 essential minerals and there's, I think there's nine in that product. Uh, uh, you're 51 short. <laughs> That's not good. Okay, and of course the dosage is not correct either. Things that you need, you know, a thousand milligrams, you might only have three milligrams. 
And so it's like trying to go elephant hunting with a BB gun, ain't gonna work. <laughs> All you do is piss them off. <laughs> Fill it at all. So, all right. So next we have a chat question. Mm -hmm. And we know that on the bad foods list, it says mm -hmm. no oils. And the question is no oil. Oh, you went away. Massages. Oh, you went away. I didn't hear what and you said. What you, you have to go back because you went away for oh. about 30 seconds there. Uh-oh. Okay, so we're, we're looking at yes. like oil yeah, for the oils. benefits mm -hmm. on the hair and mm -hmm. the scalp and for massage. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to jump in here. I'm sorry that uh, Rebecca, Media, you're they having your some, a computer a issues. Um, Dr. Wallach, the question is, we know that you say no oils, period. Yes. The good food, bad food list. That means no extra, extra, extra virgin oil either, as you say. That's right. I don't know how you say that. So no oils, period. Um, what about the oils, like for example, uh, jojoba oil or whatever, or neem oil or whatever that, you know, many people put it in their scalp uh, to promote hair growth or quality of hair. And then the second part of that question is what oils can be recommended or what medium as an oil can be used for those therapeutic body massages? Okay. Well, first of all, if you're going to eat extra, extra virgin, virgin olive oil, you have to grow your own olive trees, pick it off the tree and eat it. When you're getting extra, extra, extra virgin olive oil in a bottle or a can, uh, or you, they've um, um, put it in with canned fish and stuff like that, or it's in a salad dressing sitting on the table in a restaurant all day at room temperature, um, it oxidizes and turns into bad stuff, trans fats, heterocyclamines, and acrylamides. These are the things that actually cause the plaque in your artery, not cholesterol. It's oxidized oils. Also, they cause cancer when they oxidize. Now, so if you're going to have oils, you have to eat the plant as opposed to squeezing it and, and putting it in your shelf and putting it in your refrigerator and buying it from the store where it's been extracted. Now, there are um, essential fatty acids, okay, omega-3s, omega-6s, and omega-9s. So we extract them in a room that's filled with nitrogen. Everybody has to be in a scuba outfit that works in there, okay, because there's no oxygen in the room. And we put these oils, when they're extracted out of the seeds or the fish livers, okay, we put them in a soft gel capsule that's filled with nitrogen, we flush the bottle with nitrogen. We put all those capsules in there and seal it. So it's all been in nitrogen for a couple of months or six months, whatever it is on your shelf. And then you open it. It's perfect because it's been in nitrogen. It didn't oxidize. Now, when you look at the aromatherapy oils, they're not oils. They're esters. They're only two carbons long. They don't have any double bonds in them. They were called oils a thousand years ago because they were oily like oil. So they called them oils, but they're esters. And so when you have oils, they're 18 to 30 carbons long. They have multiple double bonds in there. And this is what makes them oxidize and go bad. And so there's a difference between um, aromatherapy oils, which are really not oils. They're okay to use because they don't oxidize and go bad. Okay. And so then I want you to go to our people. So what do I use for salad dressing? We go to our savor division, our spice division. We have all these gluten-free vinegars. Um, we have all kinds of spices. We have everything you need to have a spicy life, okay, in our savor division. We have our pink Himalayan salt. We have our pink Himalayan salt with ground black pepper in it. has 84 minerals in it. Well, my doctor says I can't have salt. Well, fire that doctor because, let's see, what, what did the good Lord say? It was published in the Bible. When somebody is very, very good and does God's work, you are the salt of the earth. Why would God say you're the salt of the earth if salt was bad, Okay. Um, and, and you can't have dairy. My hippie says I can't have dairy. I got to be a vegetarian. Well, the place where people live the longest on earth, and there is published in the Bible, for goodness sake, people live in the land growing with or flowing with milk and honey. So why would they say that in the Bible if it's not true? Okay, so don't listen to the hippies that say give up dairy and just eat vegetables and, and fruit. No, no, no. Okay, 
And if you're worried about chemicals in the milk and sprays and all that kind of stuff, they have dairy that's sold and labeled properly. It says, this milk comes from cows that are range fed. They just out there in the pasture, they don't eat any grain or any hay that's had sprays on them. Same way with eggs. You want to get eggs from range fed chickens. It's, you don't have to give up eggs. You don't have to give up dairy. Just eat them from range fed chickens and range fed dairy cows. This is very simple stuff. You're gonna kill yourself. You know, just like again, the average lifespan of people in Arizona and Phoenix in particular is 71. The people in Hong Kong, the same population is 84. They live 13 years longer. And in Hong Kong, um, let's see here, the number of COVID infections is, is um, 7,000. The number of deaths is 114. And in Arizona, the number of infections is 380,000 infections and 7,000 deaths. There's a huge difference between the two. And the reason is in Arizona, there's 31% uh, Latinos. So they, they raise the number of people who are eating gluten. Um, and in Hong Kong, I can testify to that because I've been there many times through the Air Force. Okay, Hong Kong. And guess what? They live on rice and sweet potatoes. Same way with India. The Southern um, 20 states and seven um, uh, territories of India have 5% of the deaths and 14% of the infections um, in India uh, from COVID. And the ones in the Northern nine states of India have 95% of the deaths and 86% of the infections. Okay. India has 9,735,000 infections and 141,000 deaths and only 5% of the, uh, the deaths and 14% of the infections are in the South that have two thirds of the population and 95% of, of, um, of the deaths and 86% of the inf uh, infections are in the, in the North where they eat wheat. They're homogenous people. Okay, India is one of the most homogenous countries on earth. Okay, 1.4 billion people. But the ones who eat wheat are in trouble with COVID and the ones who eat rice are not. It's very simple stuff. Back to you, dear. Hey, so Dr. Wallach, I think I'm back. Okay. We have, we have a question about brewer's, brewer's yeast. Does that have gluten in it? And is it something that's nutritional and healthy for us? We don't know what they fed those yeast. Yeast are little plants, okay? Yeast are plants. They are not gluten, but they have to be fed something. Are they fed in a medium? Are they fed in a medium of oatmeal? Then they have gluten in them. Okay, so you don't know. They, so they have to say in big bold letters with a gluten-free symbol on it, gluten-free yeast. Then you know they're gluten-free. But if they just say yeast, you have no earthly idea. And if you call the company who sold it and boxed it, they say, you know, we don't know. They just send it in big 55-gallon drums. We just box it up. We have no idea how they grow it. And so just unless it says gluten-free and has a gluten-free symbol on it, don't use it. Don't buy it. That's right. All right. Thank you for that. Next, let's go to Ruth, who has her hand up. Ruth, go ahead and mute yourself. You are on live with Dr. Wallach. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Wallach. How are you? Ruth, okay, thank you. How can I help you? Um, you know, I have a brother that um, he's 65. He had a, last year he had a stroke um, and his right side is his okay. right arm is paralyzed. Okay, stop, and, um, stop, 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 stop. Now, was this a bleeding stroke or a blood clot stroke? Blood clot, they said. Okay, so blood clot. And then uh, how much does he weigh? He's um, about 148 pounds. He's 5'3", um, about 5'3". He's 63 years old. Um, okay, now, he, so he's got, he got the symptoms on his right side, which means the stroke occurred on the left side. It yes. crosses over. Okay. And so does he have any other historical problems, anything like diabetes or? Yes, um, he's diabetic. You know, he was, he had, he's diabetic and um, they want to operate on his right side. He's, he, they said his clogged arteries on his right side. Well, give us, give us, give us, give us 90 days. 
Okay, remember uh -huh. the, the reason why the doctors want to do that? They have kids in college and tuition is due. Remember, the third leading cause of death in American hospitals is medical errors. Every year in American hospitals, this is from Johns Hopkins Medical School, not me. This just came out, I don't know, five, six weeks ago. There's a seven year study. They, they looked at eight different causes of death in um, hospitals in America, America only. The third leading cause of death in American hospitals is medical errors and surgery primarily, medical errors, okay? According to Johns Hopkins, not me, each year in America, medical doctors kill, that's the word they use, kill 251,000 to 440,000 Americans from medical errors in, in hospitals every year. How many businesses, okay, um, can stay in business if they kill 251,000, 440,000 of their customers or workplace every year? Oh. Nobody. How come the doctors get away with it? Because they have insurance. It pays off the family when they kill you. But they still get their money so they can put their kid through college. So give us a few weeks, okay? Yeah. So he's got diabetes, okay? Yeah. Does he have high blood pressure? Yeah, he's taking medicine for high blood pressure. Well, it um, didn't work. It didn't work, did it? Because he had a stroke. If his blood pressure, yeah. Um, no, after he took a stroke, after he had the stroke, they put him on this uh, medicine that if his blood pressure is 110, then he has to take this medicine. Um, okay, stop. Yeah. We don't need to know that, okay? What I need to tell you is this. He needs to get rid of all the bad stuff. Everybody in his household, his spouse, his partner, his roommate, renter, dog, cat, bird, fish, kids, brothers and sisters, nieces and nephews. Everybody's got to be drop dead, gluten free. No wheat, no barley, rye, no, no fried foods, no processed meats, no oils. And then at 148 pounds, he's right at that cusp. But because he's had some life-threatening issues here, he needs two healthy brain and heart packs per month. Two healthy brain and heart packs per month. A full dose of breakfast, full dose of dinner. He also needs one bottle a month of MSM, so he can take three of those twice a day to help rebuild the, the elastic fibers in his veins and arteries, in his brain, his heart, and his neck, okay, in his neck, uh, and also get the blood flowing through there. Uh, he doesn't need surgery. Uh, he needs to get rid of the problem. And then he also needs uh, three twice a day. That's two bottles a month of our sweeties. Don't let him go cold turkey off his diabetes medication. But what he can do, take his blood sugar like he's supposed to. And as the blood sugar comes down, he can slowly reduce the medication based on the numbers. Then for the high blood pressure, again, that ultimate daily classic tablet, three of those twice a day. It'll support healthy blood pressure and healthy blood flow through blocked arteries in the brain, uh, the eyes, uh, the neck, the heart the kidneys and so on. And um, let's see here. I also want him to have, if I didn't say it, vitamin D3, three of those twice a day, two bottles a month. He needs the MSM, we said that. He needs the, the collagen. He could have the pro joint FX. He could take three of those twice a day um, or he could take the uh, glucogel. He could take uh, five of those twice a day um, or he could take our um, I said the uh, pro joint effects three of those twice a day, or he could take the liquid glucogel if he likes that, an ounce twice a day, be two quarts a month. And then call us every couple of weeks. I wanna know about his blood pressure. I wanna know about his diabetes. I wanna know um, uh, what's going on um, with his weight and everything. And anytime he goes to the doctor and you know they're giving him feedback and they're saying, okay, this is what's going on here. Here's what we wanna do. And say, well, you know, give me a little bit of time to figure it out. And then call us and ask us what we recommend. Okay, just remember, the third leading cause of death in America, according to Johns Hopkins and hospitals each year, in America alone, is doctors' medical errors. They kill 251,000 to 440,000 of their customers each year in their workplace from medical errors. And so if you can do something yourself, you, know, you can go, you don't need to go to a doctor to get a diagnosis of diabetes. You go there without a prescription, you get the test strips for a buck fifty apiece. You can either pee on them or stick your finger and you'll know in 30 seconds whether you're a diabetic or not, okay? Same way with high blood pressure. They have high blood pressure machines there at the pharmacy. You could go there once a month, once a week and get a free blood pressure thing. The same way with obesity. You can weigh yourself if you're 25 pounds over your ideal weight for your height, which you'll find out uh, in the book, Hell's Kitchen, in the book, Dead Doctors Don't Lie, in the book, Let's Play Doctor. Um, uh, you don't need to go to a doctor and get a diagnosis of obesity. You already know that. You don't want that on your record. And, and them telling you won't fix it, okay? And so you can do it yourself. 
And um, uh, by following all of these suggestions here, these secret sauces, and many people will have six and eight and 10 and 12 different um, pre-existing conditions because they can't absorb nutrients, even if they're supplementing, because they're eating gluten. I, you know, this has uh, been something that's going to come out again uh, with a new title, a new book, a new CD, a new DVD uh, called The Manchurian Prescription. Because what did we get for distancing, wearing a mask and washing your hands? We got almost um, 15 and a quarter million infections, 100, and, excuse me, 300,000 deaths. We set a record two days ago, the number of dead in one night in America. 3,124. That's what we got for following that mantra. Distance, wear your mask and wash your hands. Nobody said, take your 90 essential nutrients and get off of gluten so your immune system is good. Okay? Call us back every two weeks, dear, with the results. Can I ask you one more question, please? Sure, sure. Go ahead. Do you think, you know, about his ability to use his right hand, is it is there anything that- Okay, he... okay, wait a minute. I, I couldn't understand that because you're either too close to the microphone or something. All I'm hearing is, zzz, zzz. okay, go try you know, again. He, he's, um, his hand, is it able, is there anything he can take for his hand? He can't use his hand, his hand is- Oh, that's on the right side, correct? Yeah, yeah, it's on his right side and he has a hard time speaking and- Yes, but see this, this stroke occurred when? How many, how long ago? About two years ago. Oh, two years ago, okay. We'll get him on all this stuff okay. and let's see what, okay, let's see what happens in, in uh, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, but call us every, call us every week. Okay. Okay. And give us a report because you're going to have a good testimony. He's going to have a good result. We do this thousands of times a day all over the world, but it doesn't happen. It's not like light on, light off, light on, light off. This takes a few weeks. Okay. Cause he's got some severe damage in there. And so this is going to take some time. Okay. Don't forget, he cannot be on statin drugs. He's got to get off of statin drugs. He's got to eat at least three eggs twice a day, soft yolks. Hard boiled eggs don't count. Is it possible to ask you about my mom? Well, that's up to Rebecca. Rebecca, can I ask you about my mom? Rebecca? I'm here. Yes, you go ahead. Can she, can she ask ahead. me a third? Okay, go ahead. She's giving you the okay. Go ahead. Okay, you have the green um, light. You know, my mom has Alzheimer's or, or really bad dementia. I don't know what it is, but. How, okay, stop there. How old is she? She's 88. Okay, and how much does she, she weigh? She's like um, under 110. He fluctuates okay. a little. How, how tall is she? Like 410. Okay, and does she have diabetes or high blood pressure, no. arth arthritis? She's high blood pressure, but no diabetes. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I can write this to the basket. Okay, mom has to um, get rid of all the bad foods like everybody else. No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat brought on her nose. She's got to live like an Asian, live on rice and sweet potatoes and vegetables. She can. I want her to have three eggs uh, twice a day with soft yolks. She's got to get rid of statin drugs. She cannot be on statin drugs. Statin drugs are what caused Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease did not exist until they came out with um, uh, statin drugs. There were 10 other dementias, okay, go back to Bible times. But Alzheimer's disease is a very specific dementia. It's caused by um, statin drugs. So she cannot be on statin drugs to lower her cholesterol. I want her to be eating three eggs twice a day with soft yolks, okay, no statin drugs. And then I want her uh, on, um, let's see here, uh, one healthy brain and heart pack per month. I want her to get another bottle of our selenium, not from um, uh, some drugstore. I want her to take three of our selenium twice a day. One bottle of selenium comes with the healthy brain and heart pack. So get another bottle of selenium so you can take three twice a day, a half a dose of everything else twice a day. I want her to take our de-stress capsules, three of those twice a day, two bottles a month, our <laughs> ultimate niacin plus one twice a day as um, um, one bottle a month. I want her also to have the synaptive, synaptive, S-Y-N-A-P-T-I-V-E, um, I want her to have three of those twice a day. It helps the brain cells talk to each other, okay? I also want her to take our ultimate daily classic tablets, our ultimate daily classic tablets. I want her to take three of those twice a day because a lot of times when one of the dementias is vascular dementia where you get a, a, the arteries in the brain are all plugged up 
and not getting enough nutrition and oxygen into the brain. So I got to do the ultimate daily classic tablets, three of those twice, it is two bottles a month, that covers all the dementias. There's no law that says you can't have one or three or five or six or eight or 10 dementias. So I always treat for all 10 or 12 of them. And guess what? They always go away. I'm going to tell you a quick story here about Ray McGregor. About 25 years ago, this guy's sister came to me over the phone and says, uh, my brother Ray um, has been diagnosed 11 years previous with Alzheimer's disease. And for three years, he was treated with pharmaceuticals for dementia and Alzheimer's disease. At the three-year mark, he goes into a coma. He's been in a coma in a nursing home for eight years, being fed in shore through a G-tube and giving IVs to keep hydrated every day for eight years. I said, okay, let's get him on our shake, get him off the insure, get him on our, our protein shake, but make it with heavy cream instead of water three times a day. I want him to have three of our healthy brain and heart packs a month, a full dose of everything at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I want him to have uh, three scrambled eggs with each meal, three with breakfast, lunch, and dinner uh, through the G-tube in the shake. I want him to have the de-stress capsules, three of those um, three times a day in the shake. The ultimate niacin plus one of those uh, with each meal three times a day. The synaptive, okay, every day. And uh, the ultimate daily classic tablets, three, three times a day. And then call me every two weeks. Let me know what's going on. Well, in three days, she calls me screaming and moaning. Oh, my brother, Ray, my brother, Ray. His name is Ray McGregor. My brother, Ray, my brother, Ray McGregor. So well, I'm so, uh oh, I'm in trouble here. So what happened to your brother, Ray? She says, well, he woke up this morning. He thought he was only asleep for one night. He didn't realize he was in a coma for eight years. He goes back to work as the assistant manager of a bank. And nobody there at the bank was there when he went into his coma eight years ago. So they thought he was some clever crook claiming to be the bank officer trying to rob the bank. So they called the cops at bank as being swamped with all these cops. And he's perfectly normal now after eight years in a coma, just with three days with your program. Are you getting a picture here? Do yes. this for your mom and call us every two weeks like I told her. And she called me in three days. Okay. Okay, uh -huh. back to you, Rebecca. All right, thank you, Dr. Wallach. And it is at the top of the hour. Uh, fortunately, we didn't get to everybody's hands or everybody's questions, but please go to askdoclive.com, use that contact us option that's there, send us an email, we will get um, responses to your questions. And for those of you who wanted a, you know, a replay of what was said today, because you couldn't catch, Dr. Wallach has this amazing mind and he just says it like it is and he doesn't say it's slow. So go to askdoclive.com. You will find the recordings of all of our presentations that we've been doing on this show, including today's, but you know, our webmaster is fantastic. Jaunty is like amazing. Um, but give them until tomorrow and you'll see that. <laughs> <laughs> but on behalf of myself and Dr. Wallach and my co-hosts, Nasima and Jaunty and Ruth Ellen, we just want to thank everybody for joining us today. Have a fantastic week. Is that a thumbs up, Dr. Wallach? Or That's a thumbs up. It's a thumbs up. It's a, a fantastic week. Have a fantastic Christmas, Hanukkah, uh, and God bless everybody. Yes, blessings to everybody, and we will see you next week. Same place, same time. Invite your friends. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. And again, again, if somebody invited you to the show, get with them and say, hey, I want to get what Doc's talking about. Um, because I'll tell you folks, it really does work. Take care. Bye for now. Bye-bye.